Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. This is Devendra Veliganla. In this lesson, you will learn how to create a two-level out-of-box approval workflow in SharePoint 2013. So, one of the use cases: employee can submit a proposal document to the manager, and manager can either approve it or reject it. So, if it is approved and it will go to further approval for the senior manager and he can either approve it or reject it if manager or senior manager rejects the document workflow ends there so you could see the flow the requester can start the workflow and it will go to the manager and manager can approve it or reject it if he rejects it the workflow will end there if manager approves here then it will go to next level where senior manager can either approve it or reject it okay so let's open the sharepoint site to create the workflow this is our sharepoint site so we'll be creating project proposal workflow so click on projects document library to create a workflow click on library here click on workflow settings now from here you could just choose document okay and click add a workflow now from here we will just choose the approval SharePoint 2010 workflow and name it as project proposal approval okay and keep the task list as the same task list and history list as workflow history and I want to start this workflow whenever there is a new item is added okay click on next now this is a two level workflow so either you could create a serial or parallel but in our case it has to done one action after the other like requester sends a request to manager then manager to senior manager so it's always serial so I'll keep this order as a serial if you want you could choose the parallel as well so any one of the manager or senior manager can approve or if you have two or more managers then you could choose the parallel so any one of the manager or senior managers can approve so just enter the users let's say the approver one is a manager in this case and approver two is a senior manager in our case okay and once you assign those things and set it as a serial and click save if you want to set you could set a due task for the uh, due date for the entire tasks okay and what is the duration for each task let's set the due date by august 1st and the duration per task let's say two days okay and let's save it okay now we have created the workflow okay now let's go back to the document library okay and just upload a document here the project proposal document click ok now you have uploaded the document refresh it now you could see that the workflow is in progress click on the status of the workflow it will redirect to the project proposal workflow status where you can see the visual representation and the workflow has been started now currently assigned to task 1 okay now it will go to approver 1 then approver 2 then workflow will end let's come back to tasks here you could see here one task has been assigned to approver one and please approve the project proposal and it's not started okay the workflow history also you can see workflow has been initiated and the task has been created and you could see that due date is this one because we have set one day to complete the task so let's go ahead and log in with the different user which is approver one
Let's sign it as approver one. And go to the tasks list from the site contains tasks. Now you could see that the project approval approved project proposal has been created. Okay, and click on the task. It will open the workflow task where you could either approve it, reject it, or cancel it. Even you could reassign the task. So in this case, I'm just entering the comments as approved and clicking on approve button to approve this task. So what happens now is once the approver approves this task, now it will create a new task for the approver to and this task will get completed so that approver 2 can log in into the system and he needs to complete that particular task okay so let's wait for the task is getting updated so now we could see here immediately in the task list a new task has been created for approver 2 for the project proposal so let's sign out from approver 1 okay and log in with approver 2 uh, let's log in with approver 2 here and you could see here I have logged in with approver 2 now go to site contents I mean well, let's ch check the task the workflow status go here project proposal approval now you could see the visual representation now we have only for approver 2 approver 1 is already approved the task so that's why the check mark is coming up and even here in the tasks section the first one is approved the second one is not approved yet and the due date again uh, tomorrow because just now itself approver 1 completed and the date between the, these two tasks is one day okay so let's go back to the tasks and click on the tasks which is assigned to approver 2 and here again approver 2 can approve it reject it or reassign it so here also I'm just approving it so now once the approver to approve this particular task the entire workflow will get completed and project proposal workflow will get finished just wait for the task to complete now you could see this is completed okay Let's log in with my account. Now oh, he's the person who raised the workflow. So let's go to projects and you could see that the workflow has been approved. Click on that status. Now in the visual representation also you could see that approved one approved it approved two also approved it okay now both tasks are approved and completed and you could see that approval was completed the final workflow status is approved so in the same way you could do the parallel workflow also using out of box option okay where either approver one or approver two can complete the workflow okay thank you for watching this session to watch more sessions log on to sharepointjourney.com